Hey friends, welcome to There and Back Again. I'm Logan, thanks so much for joining the channel today. Uh, today I'm gonna be starting a uh, kind of a new series uh, where I take a look at uh, a book and I talk about a tobacco pairing with that book. Um, and now on my channel I haven't really discussed uh, books uh, in you know great detail very much, uh, though I do read a lot, as you might have guessed from uh, the books behind me and uh, you know the, the pictures that I associate with my page. Um, there's I, I love books and I read constantly, and I find that that um, I often will choose a book to read and a tobacco that seems to kind of go along with it, and I will smoke that tobacco when I read that, and it creates. Um, sort of a multi-sensory connection with the with the book in my mind, and maybe that's a little out there for you, but um, it's just something that I enjoy. Two things that I enjoy a great deal. I, I've created sort of a uh, a connection, an emotional connection uh, with those two things. So um, today, <clears throat> I want to discuss a a book that I discovered recently. Uh, by Ray Bradbury, uh, the, the very famous, he's considered a, a science fiction author, though he didn't consider himself a science fiction author. He thought, uh, in his own estimation, he only wrote one science fiction book, which was Fahrenheit uh, 451. Uh, but uh, he considered himself a fantasy author because he felt like science fiction was grounded in some kind of a reality, whereas fantasy can be uh, any any type of unreality, which is what he enjoyed creating. And uh, though he did write uh, the long novel form, he really uh, shined a lot in the uh, the short story format, which you find in his books, The Martian Chronicles. And uh, the book that I'm going to be talking about today, which is called The Illustrated Man. The Illustrated Man was a book that I uh, found uh, recently after a discussion with my dad. He had, he had said something about, about uh, The Illustrated Man. And uh, I, a couple days later, I was, I was in a used bookstore and I found a new copy, because uh, sometimes they have new copies, uh, of this book. The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury, and so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I flipped through it, saw that it was uh, short stories, which, uh, as someone who, as a pipe smoker, short story format works great for pipe smokers because you don't have to, uh, it, you can kind of commit short amounts of time and get a complete story in that time, like, like smoking a pipe. Um, so you, you get a full story in that time. So I, I really look for books in short story format. Uh, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, the Illustrated Man. It blew me away in every sense of the word. In fact, I couldn't wait to, to come back to it every day. Uh, I would read one and maybe two stories in a day, and uh, the content the emotion, the spirituality that was present in these stories uh, was, was not like anything that I'd ever read. And they weren't overly, they're not overly complex stories, but every single story led me to a place where I pondered it the rest of the day. And I couldn't wait to come back and see what was next, uh, the, the very next day. Uh, Ray Bradbury, he was born in 1920, uh, and this was released in 1951, so when he was 31 years old. And he had written uh, some incredibly thought-provoking uh, uh, stories in this that I, I just, I was at the end of the book, I was sad to have ended. And that's, that, that is the mark, in my opinion, of gr the great books, is when you read that last word and you close it, you, you wish you could go back and start it again with, with fresh eyes and a fresh mind again, like, like you hadn't read those stories before. Um, and the stories in here, the setting is usually there's, in almost every book, there's some, you might call it science fiction. It's, it, the stories, uh, in this book are framed in sort of a, 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 a broader context where the illustrated man is sort of a former, uh, carnival sideshow person, but, but, uh, 
and he's, his body is covered in what you might call tattoos, but they're not really tattoos because they change with the person that looks at his body. And uh, you get a brief introduction to him when somebody encounters him on the road. And he says that he has kind of lived a cursed life in which the people that he meets wish that they hadn't met him. Um, and he explains to the other person on the road that, the, uh, that as you look at the illustrations on his body, you see stories of your life, including your death. And the illustrations change based on the person looking at them. So you get this, this uh, prologue that sets this up, but the stories themselves in the book are not tied to, to, the, to the illustrated man. They're sort of what you might, as you get into the stories, you might consider them, these were stories on his body. Because a lot of the stories, there is something very shocking in them. And there is death in these stories. And there is... There is uh, a lot of deep emotion and uh, semi-nostalgic longing and pain that's in these that really get to the heart of people. They're set in settings like, uh, I remember, this was, this was written in 1951 before the, the era of, of uh, the space race. And so <clears throat> the settings are like Mars or Venus, or uh, some some planet uh, in the outer reaches of the solar system, which the setting itself, the planet is not that important. Uh, and uh, but what what's at the heart of these stories is that there is this deeply human story that's happening. Some of them are very short stories, and some of them are, are longer stories. But there is a deeply human a component to these stories and and this you know we know that people can't just go live on Mars or go to Venus or anything like that uh, one of the stories has a, a time travel element to it and uh, where people can go uh, take vacations in the past and they uh, it's a future where tobacco and, and alcohol doesn't exist so people go to the past and they they smoke uh, cigars and pipes and load up on Turkish cigarettes and, and drink cognac and just, uh, and that's how you can always tell these people in the past, uh, is that they are, they're, they're just covered in, they're, they're indulging in all of these, these, uh, sinful sort of things. Uh, I, probably my favorite story in this book is, is a story called The Man, in which it, it, it sort of highlights the conceit of technological advancement in which uh, this uh, the, it's the first time that we've ever gone to another planet and the rocket touches down and these men exit and they're look they're, they're, uh, there's a civilization there and they're waiting for this civilization to come in and greet them in awe of the uh, this great silver rocket that's just zoomed across the sky and lands and the people just aren't that interested um, and uh, the, uh, I don't want to give away uh, too much if you haven't read the story, but uh, the day before something uh, had happened and a man had arrived who had given these people hope, who had healed their sick, who had, who had uh, uh, accosted the, uh, the, the leaders of the, the place uh, of this civilization. And, uh, and helped lifted the poor out of their out of their poverty, and <clears throat> they don't ever name the man, uh, but there is uh, it's kind of it's a short story that that was just so thought provoking and deeply spiritual um, that uh, yeah, it it left me pondering for days. So uh, every every story is kind of like that, and some some edge a little bit more on the science fiction side and some uh, edge more on the philosophical side. Uh, but it, it's about 300 pages and I am so sorry that it's over. I loved it so much. So Ray Bradbury, The Illustrated Man. I paired this with a tobacco that, uh, that I find to be uh, just as rich uh, and uh, interesting uh, 
and it's multi-layered, uh, somewhat surprising at times. It's an aromatic, it's Esoterica Pembroke, which is a, uh, an English uh, that is topped with cognac. And to me, uh, as, I, as I read through the, the book, uh, and, and got to uh, the the story with the time traveling and the person that was that was just loading up on all the different types of tobacco and drinking cognac. It just sort of solidified that this was the right tobacco to pair it with because this is rich. It's delicious. It's thought provoking. The cognac comes through in the in the aroma. It comes through in the flavor, but doesn't uh, sublimate the the taste of the tobacco. It's it's a deeply rich. Uh, tobacco for a deeply rich story and it was just I found this to be just the perfect match um, and if you've never had an esoterica blend um, I know that they're hard to find and so it may be one of those uh, tobacco those combinations that you may not be able to to recreate um, really almost any any uh, uh, maybe kind of a cross over English uh, like Sutliff uh, number five might be a good one, or Father Dempsey. It's th they are a sort of a topped, mildly topped English blend that gives you that sweet richness uh, uh, plus the English side. So those are two things that you might, if you can't get a hold of Pembroke, that you might try Father Dempsey or Sutliff, their private stock number five. Those are two great English crossover aromatics. And it just, these two things just made sense to me to, to, to pair them up. Um, so I'm also today going to do a bit of a surprise giveaway. Uh, and uh, I have uh, reached, I haven't done a giveaway uh, in, a, in a pretty long time. Uh, recently I hit 800 subscribers. And uh, I just want to say, uh, first, thank you to all of my subscribers, to everybody that watches my videos, to my friends, uh, to my family, um, and everybody that, that interacts with me uh, uh, in the YTPC. I, I, I really appreciate the time that you spend on my channel and the interaction uh, through your comments and your emails. Uh, it is not taken for granted, and I, I really thank you for uh, the time that you spend with me. So, the giveaway is going to be these two items. I'm going to send you my copy of The Illustrated Man and I'm going to send you this unopened tin of Esoterica Pembroke so that you can have that experience uh, just like I've had that I that I enjoyed so much and you can uh, and you can tell me what you think of this pairing. So how to win The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury and Pembroke. Um, I like to keep it simple. I like um, a comment uh, left on on this video uh, that will suffice if you would like to do a VR uh, you are most welcome to just uh, give me some sort of indication that you did a VR either uh, link it in the comments or leave me a comment that you left me a VR um, um, but the content of your comment uh, needs to be um, tell me what your three favorite favorite books are. Um, I am a book lover. I'm always looking for another book. Uh, the next great book to read. Uh, just like the same way I'm always looking for the next great tobacco. Uh, send me, uh, in your comment or in your VR, whatever you want to do, uh, just give me three books that uh, that have maybe changed your life uh, or, or just been thought-provoking or those things that maybe you read over again. Or just something that left you with a great feeling. Um, if you, uh, for, I know that there are a lot of people who uh, enjoy reading the Bible. If you, uh, you know, I, if you put the Bible or something like that, give me your favorite book of the Bible or your favorite books of the Bible, the things that you read. Uh, there are 66 different books in the Bible, so uh, that's one of the things. If you if you want to use books of the Bible, that's fine. Just give me some specific books. Uh, and uh, after, I'm going to run this probably for, uh, let's say, two weeks this time. 
and uh, at the end of two weeks, I will post a, a video in which I do a, a, I'll randomize the comments. Again, if you don't leave me more than one comment, uh, or if you do, I mean, you can if you want to, but only one of them will be uh, used uh, for, the, uh, for the giveaway. So uh, there's only one entry per person. So leave me a comment, send me VR. You'll get this only read one time uh, copy of The Illustrated Man in this unopened tin of Esoterica Pembroke. And uh, I hope that, uh, uh, that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll continue to do more videos kind of like this. Um, where where I'll 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 take a look at, at different books that I I really enjoy or maybe not enjoy, uh, and see how I uh, how I paired them, what tobaccos. So uh, as always, uh, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I drop new videos. Uh, be sure to click the like button, and uh, as always, I hope that you guys have a really blessed day. I hope that uh, that you uh, you have a, a blessed week this coming week, uh, and remember to 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 be kind and love one another, and uh, we can we can make this world better than it is. Uh, anyway, take care, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.